Alright guys, what's happening? We're back again with yet another video. Today what we have in hand is a pair that flew completely under the radar. This is a follow-up to the infamous Cortez Air Max 95 of last year. They were really way more popular over in London than over here in the United States. But Cortez is hitting it again with the new Air Hirachis. This is a silhouette that I really never see, but I find it interesting that they chose this silhouette of all things. I kind of just hopped right into it, but of course I'll give you a quick update. I got, um, I got one more day of radiation tomorrow and then we're finished with the radiation. Um, so I could not be more excited. I'm literally just waiting for it. Um, not going to talk too much about that besides that, um, but let's jump into the box right here on these Air Hirachi Cortezes. So right here we got the OG Nike Air Hirachi box with the brown and the orange going on right there. You got Nike and Cortez branding right there. You got the size tag here as well as some more branding right there on the side. Popping the lid of the box. You actually have some pretty interesting details within the box. So right here, you got the whole like forest theme that seems to be the case with this shoe. And you got this logo going on all throughout right here and even in the wrapping paper as well, which does represent an escape from Alcatraz. So that's a really cool concept. I really like that concept. And it basically means to rebel against the system and do what you want to do regardless of what you think the consequences will be, which is obviously a very beautiful message. Right here is the shoe. Um, this is a gray shoe. There were some other colorways leaked, but I don't believe that they actually ever were released. So right here on the lateral side of the shoe, you got no, not much branding going on. You got some camouflage details right here done in a mesh and the rest is pretty much like a gray suede. Um, the materials are not that soft, but we'll get into that in just a minute. Um, I would say the standout detail is that there's a strap right in the middle of the upper of the shoe right here. It is Velcro. And you do got that Alcatraz logo yet again, which is actually a pretty nice logo, I would say. It's pretty clean cut, and it's got a lot of detail in it. Then you got Air Hirachi on the tongue right here. That is the case on both shoes. And the whole tongue and upper ankle area is kind of weird on this shoe. First of all, it does have a, some holes in it which doesn't look very comfortable in my opinion, but there's kind of like a shoe within a shoe going on. If you look inside there, there's like another shoe inside this flimsy upper. Um, so there's like a camo section of the shoe and you do have Nike Air Cortez inside done in camo as well probably hard to see right there um these do come with the gray laces laced up in the shoe but on the right shoe you also got some other laces you got these right here the 3m similar color but different material texture so that is interesting as well um the only thing different that i could see between these two shoes is that the right shoe has nike on this strap and the left shoe has the Alcatraz logo so right there as you can see is the difference between the two shoes um like I said gray laces come pre-laced in the shoe you got this pull tab on the back of the shoe as well and you got this mesh right here as part of the strap it's almost like an orthotic if you guys have seen that it's almost what it gives me the vibe of. It does not look comfortable in my opinion. You got a swoosh right here on the toe box, um, which is the case on both, as well as the Cortez logo right there. Um, Cortez is a London-based bit, London -based streetwear brand, and they did release the Air Max 95 last year, as I did mention, which did numbers over in 
on London. Right here we got a gold tag, which is probably my favorite part of the entire shoe. I'm gonna put a picture, but this one does say Nike 010572 Athletes Athlete Beaverton. So that's basically Beaverton Athletes in Cortez, like London accent, I guess. Um, I believe that even though it says 0105, I believe that's May 1st and not January 5th because uh, in London they flipped the two. I could be wrong about that, but I was unable to figure out what the 72 was for. Possibly when the Air Hirashi was released first, that would be my guess. And then on the right shoe, you got another gold um, hang tag, dog tag thing, which does say Cortez rule the world. Um, and then March 10th, 2018, Gorillas London. So that is right around the time this brand was founded. Um, these dog tags are definitely my favorite detail on the entire shoe by a long shot. That is super cool. Um, it reminds me of like, Call of Duty or like actual dog tags. Just a really cool detail overall. I also like that it's packed inside this bag. Um, that's a cool detail as well. And then the outsole is done in a gray and brown. Looks pretty high traction. He's almost giving me like hiking boot vibes. Um, on the back heel of both, you do got Nike Air and gray right there. Pretty pretty nice embedded etching uh, uh actually not nike here it says nike rule the world on both shoes so i just realized that as well here's the medial side pretty similar to the lateral side um what else we got going on sizing wise i would say true to size is fine though i haven't tried them on i wouldn't go up in sizing because they look pretty big these are size nine and they look pretty big for a nine. That's what I've heard is the general consensus on the shoe. Um, materials, material quality wise, not the best. I would say the suede on the back heel is pretty soft, but up here it's pretty sturdy. But let me see something. What if I pull this shoe tree out? Okay, actually I take it back. This is actually pretty soft suede as well. So the suede is okay, but the entirety of the shoe is definitely on the stiffer side. Um, there's not much give, as you can see, I'm trying to bend it. There's no bend at all. Um, and yeah, I, I don't like this shoe personally, but I can see that people who are diehard Cortez fans might really love it. I personally don't know much about Cortez. I've never been a fan of them, so I wouldn't buy or wear this shoe, um, especially because it's an Air Hirachi, which is not really a shoe that I'm personally familiar with or anything. So yeah, not my cup of tea, but listen, if you guys like them, as always, grab them and do your thing. So yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to end it off here. Um, thanks so much for watching. Should be more to come. I should have an update update coming for you guys soon i'm gonna finish my radiation tomorrow and then get back to you guys with some details as you can see there is some redness around my eye my eyebrows gone so that's just as a result of radiation should be gone in about a week but other than that i think we're looking healthy the hair is back the beard's back everything is coming in nicely and yeah with a lot being said thanks for watching take care and i'll see you all soon peace